Welcome to Pandemic Apparel. On today's episode, I'll be showing you how to create mittens inspired by Alice Cullen, a character from the movie New Moon. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert at knitting or creating knitting patterns, so I apologize in advance if this tutorial isn't 100% accurate, but as you can see, it turned out almost identical. I just fell in love with this look and I wanted to share my patterns with you. So to begin this tutorial, I'll be showing you some knitting techniques that include slip knot, cast on ribbing, adding stitches to create a gusseted thumb, and cast off. So if you're interested in creating this look, please continue to watch. First we'll need to create a slip knot. This is done by leaving a tail about one inch for every stitch. So we'll need about 36 inches of yarn for the tail. Creating a loop. Hold on to the area where the yarn crosses and pull the yarn through the existing loop. Slip the loop onto the needle and pull the strands until the loop fits loosely on the needle. There are many methods to cast on. The method I learned is called the double cast on, which I'll be showing you today. Not only does it cast your yarn onto the needle, but it creates your first row. You begin by taking the needle in your right hand with the slip knot on it, and your left hand separate the two strands of yarn using the thumb and pointer finger. Then with your needle scoop under the thumb loop then over the pointer finger loop. Let the loop fall off your thumb and pull the tail so the stitch fits loosely. For this project you'll need to cast on 36 stitches. Keep in mind this may vary if you decide to go with different thicknesses of yarn. The next step is ribbing which basically means altering between knit and purl stitches. You're going to knit 3 and purl 3. I've made it real simple to memorize. At the beginning of every row you will knit three and always ending with purl three. This is what your ribbing should look like. In this tutorial, I will not be showing you how to knit in the round. You will need to knit one row and purl the next row. You will continue this pattern for 15 rows. Here I'm showing you the first knit row. Here's an example of me starting the purl row. On the increased row, you'll stop after the 18th stitch. Then you'll make a right hand increase. This is done by lifting the strand between the needle through the back and then knit the stitch through the front. Here is me adding the stitch marker after the fact. This should be done before and after the increase. So again, we're on the increase row and you're going to knit to the marker. Slide it to the needle, then you'll make the right slant increase. This is done by lifting the strand between the needle through the back and then knit the stitch through the front. So then you'll stitch to the second marker and make a left slant increase. Lift the strand through the front and knit the stitch through the back. Then slide the marker to the right hand needle and knit to end. After increasing every third row, you have enough stitches for the thumb gusset. Stitch up to the marker and remove the stitch mark. Transfer the thumb gusset onto the waist yarn. Once you transferred all 15 stitches, remove the second stitch marker. Now you can continue to knit the top part of the mitten. At 
row 53, you'll begin ribbing again, the same way as when we began knitting. Knit 3, purl 3. Do this for 12 rows. On the 13th row, cast off. You begin by knitting two, then take the first stitch with your left hand needle, pull the stitch over the right hand needle over and off of that needle. You should have one stitch on the right hand needle. Now we're going to repeat. Knit one and remove the stitch to the far right. Then you're going to purl one and remove the stitch to the far right. As you've guessed, we're keeping with the ribbing pattern of knit three, purl three as we're casting off. Is picking up the stitches for the gusseted thumb. I'm going to distribute them evenly between two needles. stitches are on the double pointed needles you can remove the waste yarn. Just pull to remove. Now knit the thumb by using the new piece of yarn and knit till end. Continuing with the second row, pick up a loop from the gap and increase one stitch. For this stitch you're going to knit through the back of the loop. This is where I made the mistake. I was left with a big gap which I had to close up while tying up the loose ends of my yarn. The thumb only requires two rows of knitting. The third row is the cast off row. To cast off, we will knit two, cast off one, then knit one and cast off one. You will repeat this pattern until you get to the end. When you reach the end, you will cut the yarn and pull it through the loop. Thread your tapestry needle with your yarn tail. Place the seams side by side with the right side facing you. Go through the back edge of the opposite side and pull the yarn through. Repeat this step on the other side. Once you get to the end, create a knot to secure your weave in place. And there you have it, a few simple steps to create your very own mittens. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Visit pandemicapparel.com for new tutorials such as creating stitch markers, uh, coffee cup sleeves, and creating basic bodies. And hopefully in the near future, how to create the trench coat that Alice Cullen is wearing. Bye now!